Hey everyone, Aria Labs here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of a rather unique watch. Uh, this is the Xanis & Co. Nuvati. And you know, once in a while here in a blog to watch, we like to review things that are more unique and strange. Um, and this is definitely one of those things. Just the design itself, obviously, um, you can tell this is, <laughs> if anything, not your standard timepiece, not for your standard person. But there's some interesting features in here that I think are are worth talking about, you know, for sure. So one thing I want you to see, this is the same watch as different versions. You can see in there, there are little um, diamonds moving around in there and they're floating through oil. And this is a concept which has been used in different watches over the years. Icelink did this and there's some, I think, ladies watches did this. This is, I guess, technically a unisex model, even though it is rather large at being over 47 millimeters wide and a square. And so on each of these models, you have these little diamonds that are moving. I've always thought that's kind of cool. Um, I mean, depending on the model, you can th you can say that it's more more feminine or masculine. But there are these little there are little diamonds moving uh moving there through the through this this separate um, sandwich section of the case that has this this liquid in there. Now you'll notice something interesting. You'll notice this looks like a bubble right there over six o'clock. And that's on both of these, and you're like, "What is that?" And so this is a this this version of the Nuvati um, has in it um, this capsule. Not all versions of the watch have this capsule um, because it they there's only so much of this uh, material. And so what it is is three little pieces of rocks from space. You probably see it a little bit better there on this white dialed version. Okay, so what are these little little fragments? These are very small stones, but you can see them. One is a quote-unquote space gem. So it's some type of maybe quartz or some type of crystal that was found in some type of a meteorite. Um, another is a small piece of rock that has been established to be from the moon. And another is a small piece of rock which has been established to be from Mars. So on these particular pieces, you have a little a little pieces of space from the moon, Mars, and some type of space crystal that was flying through space. Now, I mean, the irony is that we think these are cool, but again, everything on Earth is from space. You know, at some point it was a, a space rock. But, you know, in the same vein that like meteorite dials are cool, um, this is kind of a neat little thing. It adds a little emotional factor there. Um, and it's, um, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of interesting because I, like, this is not the type of watch I ever would assume would have, like, a space angle to it, right? Because there's nothing particularly spacey about it. Um, on the wrist, I mean, it's a pretty big uh, watch. This is a steel case here. Um, and you can see what that looks like there. Let's put that on. There you go. I mean, it's, um, you know, it's <laughs> it's a big square watch. Um, inside is a Swiss quartz movement, nothing fancy there. Um, and then you have this this stuff moving around on the dial. It, it, it's fun. It's a unique design. It's it, it's kind of, you know, silly, but also, but also um, has some interesting elements to it. And, um, you know, is this the type of thing I would recommend someone wear on a daily basis? No, but, you know, for those people that aren't what I would say traditional watch people, like they don't have to wear like a mechanical movement and they don't need something with like a lot of history, but they want something unique and kind of out there. It's definitely an attention getting watch and it has, you know, the little sparkly elements. Come on, diamonds, move. Ah, they're moving. Okay. Um, and this particular version <clears throat> with these, um, the space gem bubble, you know, it's just, uh, it's kind of <clears throat> one of those wild, crazy, out there types of things. And so that is the Xanis & Company Nuvati. These are limited editions. Um, there are versions without the stones that I think are less money, but clearly if you're gonna go this way, you, you need to get the ones with the space stones. That's just that's just all there is to it. Retail price is $1,195. I think there's a, a sale going on <clears throat> at the time of this um, review, but I don't know how long that will last for. So yeah, it's a little bit more pricey, but you do have the diamonds in there and you do have the space stones. So I think it's an interesting timepiece, not the most expensive thing in the world, and definitely a, a unique uh, composition of elements. And you can see more on the blog to watch soon. Thanks.